Early Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Rimworld. We are about to attack this outpost right here, and oh boy, am I not so sure how well this is going to go because, well, we only sent a few people, and this can have a ton of people, or this can have like one person. Let's see. Eesh. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people to deal with here. E frag grenades, pistol, bolt action, rifle, incendiary launcher, bolt action, rifle, machine pistol, LMG. Yeah, we are basically going to die. This is essentially death for us because we have. We can probably try to get that over there. Hmm, I wonder if we can maybe try to, hold on, can we copy this or just not copy this, excuse me, can we claim this? No, god dang it. I was thinking maybe if we claim this we can maybe destroy it and then use it. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna have to go all out because we didn't really bring anything for ourselves. Let's see if we can maybe remove something from these guys though because we did bring frag grenades, right? So I want these guys to actually move first. So we're going to send them off to animal area one, which we're going to zone over here. Let's just put it maybe here. Sure. So we're going to just give them some time to move. Hopefully they can move faster. There we go. Okay. So now we of course want to go and maybe get one person with frag grenades. I suppose Penelope because she doesn't really have the best gun. So let's see. Frag grenades, 99%. That works for me. Ooh, a second contained lance. That might help. I don't know if I want to do that. All right. We're going to drop it. And we're going to drop, let's see, Frag Grenades in 9. Alright, so Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. Let's see. We have to get everybody basically in order of fighting, basically. Because we have to then launch this off as soon as we can. So let's see. You activate. And we're going to activate it on... Where's the guy with the... Incendiary Launcher. Only reason why I just don't want us going up in flames. So let's see. Oh, you're basically the closest one. I kind of like that. I kind of really like that. All right, so go ahead and activate this on Rosales, and then you're going to go and pick up those uh, frag grenades there. Uh-huh. Good. And pick, uh, equip, sure. Equip that, and, well, maybe we can pick up your gun later on. I don't know if it's going to work out for us, but you know what? We can try. Okay, so let's try to use these trees for cover, and Penelope is going to be the one who actually goes a little bit closer. Yeah, she's going to have her gun way out of the way, but for the most part, she's going to... Ooh, they're actually shooting him. And we're getting attacked now. Okay, <laughs> Just great. Just great. I mean, I wish I could go and pick that up right now because that would be really, really nice, but that's not going to happen. So, Penelope, come over here and let's see if we can maybe get somebody. Can we reach that way? No, we cannot. Can we reach with our guns? Oh, someone can reach you. So, wait, who can reach you? I hear shooting happening. Oh, it's our guys who are shooting already. Nice. Okay, so maybe we can get Penelope to come up around them. We might be good, although there's a lot of people with scary guns, so never mind. Let me just, uh... Retreat? Walk around? I don't know. Let's walk around. Maybe she can be okay in our fire. Oh, geez, that's a little bit scary. But uh, I think we got... Oh, she got headshot by one of us. No, it's a pistol, actually. So it wasn't one of us. So let's try to go around here so we can actually maybe attack Sarah. Oh, a lot of people are actually noticing Penelope. Okay, so we have to get these guys to focus on Jess, who's actually moving around a lot. Although Sarah does notice us. So let's try to move further away from Sarah. That way she won't be able to shoot us. Whew! Okay, we're gonna have to basically just uh, make sure that we drag Penelope around because it seems like they're all going after her. Penelope, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I, I, I believe in you, Penelope. I believe in your ability to actually kite these people around. Ouch! Oh, ow. Someone here with a LMG. Alright, shoot that guy. I know you're maybe trying to help Penelope. Penelope has her herself basically on hold here. Bandit camp opportunity while well, we're actually taking out a bandit camp? Sure, game, sure. Eesh, run, Penelope, run! Hopefully they can actually hit. Okay, they already took out quite a few people. Good, good. This is exactly what we need. And somebody's still be still shooting us over here. Are we okay? Have we lost anything? Right big toe is hurt. Uh, torso and liver, you're okay. Eesh, your leg isn't looking so good, though. Let's try to see if we can maybe get Penelope a little bit closer here so we can uh, take them out. Okay, shoot. Oh, no, 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 hold the phone. Do not do that because we can take her as a prisoner. So come over here. Maybe we can get Jess if we can get a little bit closer. Come, come closer. Because clearly Jess is going after you. Oh, boy. Somebody just went down. Bennett went down because... Because what? I'm... Torso hurt? His torso is her? I, I, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, so we completed that quest, and Penelope's still getting shot, unfortunately. 
Because we're trying to take a shot over here on... You know what? You're not even close enough to Jess. Let's just try to get him... Try, get closer. Get closer take a shot oh, out there if you can. Shoop. That's going to be a little bit too late. So Jess is going to get out, but these guys might not. So let's try to actually get these guys if we can. Go for it. Oh boy, that's not going to make it. Okay, wow. And we're trying... Nope, okay, you're, you're, you're good. Just go ahead and pick up your old gun. Jeez, that was bad. Equip. So, uh, poor Bennett is actually down. Oh, you know what? He's not that bad. It could be worse. And we have a few prisoners here. Let's see. One, just two. Oh, let's just, let's just say potential prisoners, just because... Let's see. You're not that bad, actually. You're pretty good. And Slowpoke Pessimist. Mm, you can't dumb labor, but you can... Oh, you can cook. You can cook. I'm okay with you being a pessimist, for sure. Alright, so everybody can go. Ty, you're pretty hurt, actually. What's wrong with you? Oh, you got hurt pretty badly. Alright, Compost, you're gonna come with me. <laughs> you have no finger, basically. That's okay. That's that's an old injury. You're, so you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna enter these buildings so we can maybe find a nice spot for Bennett. Oof. That was a big explosion. Do we have beds in here? Ooh, go in there. Can you actually... Yeah, we have to claim these first, don't we? All right, so let's go ahead and just claim everything here. This is all ours now. We claim this land as our own. All right, Campos, can you enter, please? Like, can you step in the door or something? There we go, and there's nothing in there. You know what? That's okay. We're going to go ahead and put ourselves in some sleeping spots because we're going to need some medical beds pronto. So let's go ahead and set these up as medical. That way somebody can actually maybe rescue Bennett because he's just laying there on the ground, which isn't good. Compost, go over there and see what's in there. Ooh, some meals. Nice. Or just one meal. Well, I guess that's fine. And we can maybe just sit there and enjoy things. We have some medicine. Oh, this is perfect because we need that like right now. Some medicine, some meals that'll work for us. And let's see, another seating area. What the heck is going on with this? these guys here? All right, so is anybody actually rescuing Bennett? Are you, Coulson, you're tending to yourself. Okay, you're tending to yourself, ignoring Bennett. Wonderful. Gotta love when that happens. So uh, we need a prisoner room. I suppose this could be it. So let's go ahead and let's see. Build copy, and we need for two, one, two. This is going to be four prisoners. And let's go ahead and get Campos and maybe Penelope to go ahead and rescue them. So go capture, or capture, I should say. And you can go and capture Ayano. And it seems like we have some meals actually around here. So that's not that bad. We made quite a killing, honestly. This isn't that bad. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see. Unforbid everything so we can have everything allowed here. Hopefully we can rescue what we need. Ty needs to go get treated. Let's see, area revealed. Uncheck all those. Quest completed. So that means we should be getting our... Our payment's over here, right? Where... What, what was our payment and where is it? <laughs> I can't remember what we uh, came here. I think it was like a steel... Yeah, it was a steel... <laughs> A legendary steel hospital bed. Of all things in the world, that's exactly what we wanted. Wonderful. Gotta love it. Well, you know what? We have to actually pay attention to this over here because these guys are not doing so well. And nobody's actually rescuing Bennett. Colson, what are you doing? You're still tending to yourself. Dude, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. No, 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 no. Rescue. Oh, Moo's gonna do it. Really? Okay, that works for me. That definitely works for me. Well, let's go ahead and make a stockpile zone up in here so maybe we can get everything hauled in because we have a lot of stuff just hanging out outside and we just don't want it there. So stockpile zone there, stockpile zone there, and severe illness on Allie. We're going to try to actually save her. And I think she's good. I think she's definitely good. Just got to make sure that we take care of Bennett. We're working on it for sure. We have some good meds over here, so hopefully Moo's getting them. Yes, she is. Good. So now it's just a matter of trying to save our weapons and making sure that they are kind of sort of okay, although it looks like we're saving every other weapon first. Ty, have you been bandaged up yet? You have. Good. With good medicine, too. Look at that. They're all white. Nice. Okay, so everybody's looking pretty good right now. Coulson's still working. The power's out because you basically only have these, which really aren't that great. Maybe we can strip people for something good? I don't, I don't know. We're going to try, though. We have how many hours? Two days in Dwight. Two days and two hours. That's that's a lot of time. I'm pretty sure I don't want to spend all that time here, especially because we have to go to the next opportunity to see what we have there. Poor Moo has nowhere to sleep. Bennett is... Yes! Bennett is no longer incapable of walking. Good. You're removing your jacket. You know what? Keep it on. Keep it on just because... Wait, do you have it in your hands or something? Keep it on just because... We're going to need to haul it. Fine, you know what? Take it off. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and grab your gun over here. Equip that so we can not have that deteriorating. Same thing with those. We need to grab those soon. And we have plenty of meals out here that we should probably take inside so we can uh, use them pretty soon. Looks like Penelope is fully healed up. Ty should be healing up pretty soon. He wasn't really that badly beat up. It was mostly Bennett who really took a bad beating, but he's now up and walking around. So yeah, you know what? Good for him. 
And our prisoners have severe blood loss, so they really aren't good for the walking just yet. It looks like we are going to have to stay here for a little while. Let's see where this other mega screen TV. Hmm. They want us to go this way, don't they? They really, really want us to go this way. You know what? I'm not going to do it just yet. That one has no time. Actually, these outposts seem to have no time limit, so I guess that's fine. We can take however long we need. We still have quite a few guns to pick up here. Ooh, that one's actually not that bad. Hopefully we can pick all, all these guns up and store them somewhere because clearly we have a lot of good stuff that we just need to try to save. So let's go ahead and do something up like that and hopefully we can start storing things away before we have to leave because if we can haul everything away, perfect. It's just going to be perfect. Wait, did you just haul oh, dirty people, old people? Oh, jeez. Dead people clothing. That's what I mean to say here. Well, you know what? I guess that's fine. We can take what we want and leave what we don't want, even though I'm pretty sure we don't want most of this because it's probably worth absolutely nothing. Ah, <sighs> these guys. They need to learn what's actually valuable and what's not, but eh, whatever. Just got to make sure that we haul away these guys. Let's see. Oh, Ty's going to get them. Good. Okay, so we are getting them. And all the corpses are now naked. Perfect. So we are looking like we're in a pretty good condition to maybe leave soon. Just gotta wait for these guys to be a little better in terms of walking, because right now the moving... 31%. I'm not so okay with that, because we're going to be walking very, very slowly to our next destination, and I'm pretty sure we don't really have enough food for this. Especially since some of it was about to rot. Okay, so we're just about ready to go. These guys are basically just weakened in terms of movement, so it looks like we can go. There are 75%, and I think the other one was like 78%. Penelope's in the way. I guess I can't really leave. Uh, so let's go ahead and just reform the caravan here. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and take everybody, yes. And we're going to take all the berries, all the muffalo wool, because that's pretty good stuff there. No doubt about that. Let's see. We're going to leave all that chunk. Oh, poor hair corpse. I can't believe we accidentally killed a hair. I guess, you know, that just that kind of stuff just happens. Limestone club we can leave behind. We don't really need it. Let's take all of the weapons, of course, because those could be pretty handy. Not just for using, but in terms of sales, definitely can use those for bartering a little bit if we need some more food. I'm going to take this just because he just took it off and it's actually worth a lot of money. So that's also going to be pretty good for bartering if we need to sell it. It looks like everything else is just dead people clothing, which we don't really need, and I guess that's okay. So... Let's go ahead and let's see the estimated time to our destination to here. That's not that much time, honestly. That's that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and accept this. Reform the caravan. Let's go ahead and select these guys. Go, Come over here. Even though we're going to be going with some prisoners, which is probably not the best idea. But honestly, ooh, we don't have much food at all. We're going to have to maybe... Settle down for some berries somewhere. I thought we had much more food than that, but it seems like that was just not the case. Especially now with prisoners. Maybe we should be leaving instead of trying to go forward. But hey, you know what? We never know. We might even just find some food here. Anything is possible. So hopefully, let's just go a little bit faster here. So hopefully we can find something good there. And let's just check in on what these guys are doing. So they're getting some trees right now because what? That was random. <laughs> that was actually pretty random. It looks like we're running out of meat, so we might be good for some hunting in a second. Let's see, we have spicy meat over there. Don't want to touch that, as usual. Do we have any turkeys, anything else? And, oh, uh, this could work. An ostrich, sure. I see a turkey right up in there. Yummy turkeys, sure, that works for me. And, wow, there's really not that much to eat here. Some boars, just one boar. Okay, well, that works for me if, uh, you know, we can get those things. I guess we can maybe even hunt down some trash pandas. Because it looks like the food is getting pretty scarce here. It's September. I thought maybe the food wouldn't be scarce until, like, I don't know, december -y? But it seems like that's just not the case, unfortunately for us. So we're going to have to definitely do something more. I mean, we do have a few berries, although it looks like we're failing to harvest Morgan. Come on now. Are you kidding me right now, kid? Are you even a grower? Like, are you at all a grower? Not really, not so much, but you're basically your only one right now, so sure, fine. You know what, get the berries before anything else happens. Hey, a trade ship. All right, so let's see, do we have any wardens? We do, Robin. So Robin, you're going to come over here, and let's see, we put it over here. Let's call these guys, see if they have anything good for us, because that would be nice if we could trade. Uh, he has poor health. Oh boy, that's not, that's not good at all. So let's see, they have meals. I mean, we could buy meals. Wait, we don't even have any money near there anymore. So we're basically going to have to sell things if we have anything to sell. 
Beaver skin, sure. Let's go ahead and sell that. Sell the turkey leather, even though actually we're hunting turkey, so we could use that. We have some steel, we need that. Hops, we don't need those. We actually planted those thinking that maybe we would need some more to go ahead and sell off. That never ended up being a thing. These pants are actually pretty good, so I don't want to get rid of those. Stool, we can get, oh my gosh. This is exactly why we went there, because we knew that would be a little bit of money that we could definitely use. And there we go. We got that money. Nice. Okay, so is there anything that we would like to buy from these guys? Shh, medicine, that's actually really expensive. My gosh, that price for the medicine. I do not even want to go there. Anything like uh, components? How many components can we, we can get all of them? Okay, good. I am okay with just buying components. We can save the rest of the money for whatever else. And there we go. And these guys, it seems like they're going to get to their destination maybe tomorrow because they're resting right now. Of course. And Lumi. Oh, Lumi's hunting. Wait, are they all hunters right now? Oh, three of them are hunters. Well, you know what? That's okay because just as long as we get some food, we should be good. And we have berries now, so that means we're making fine meals. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Well, wow. Actually, we have a ton, a ton of meds here. I actually forgot about that. I don't know why I went crazy with the meds. I probably shouldn't have done that because we could have used more food. Clearly, Morgan isn't really the best harvester, so we keep uh, ending up with issues there, and it's just not good for us. Alright, so we are about to move and attack this guy. Sukiyaki had a heart attack. Oh boy, that's one of the muffle that's with us. <laughs> so if anything happened, Moo and Sukiyaki form bond. Moo, now is not the time for this. Uh, we have met peacefully. Sure, let's trade because we're going to need some kind of food. Oh, they have pemmican. How much can we take? We can take not all of it. Mm. And we don't really have anything to sell. How about like 500? Oh boy, that's like all of our stuff. And how much is 500 for? You know what? We're going to have to do it. We are going to have to trade for <sighs> entirely food. Jeez. I mean, we do have goods on us, so that's not that bad. And we're going to go and trade anyway with our friends nearby. Oof. Sure, I'm going to go ahead and try to go for the max. Let's see, 600, 650? 650, sure. 2.9 days food, I guess it's fine. Oh man, I can't believe that. All right, move on. We're going to go ahead and, ahead and attack this. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on over here. Do we have any issues? We have one person and, oh wait, no, we have two people and a what? A mortar? He's operating the turret already. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think this is good. So, uh, Sukiyaki is having some issues, right? Sukiyaki, right here, are you okay? We need a doctor on this, like, right now. Wait, is it a doctor who can take care of this? You can't handle. Okay, we need a handler on this. So, do we have a handler on us? Ben is a handler. Perfect. Bennett, come here. Oh, you're already handling. Thank goodness. No, shearing. No, 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 no. She's having a heart attack. I hear it coming. I don't know where it is, but we should probably all move. Oh, wait, the muffler is stuck there. Oh, that went out of the map. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. Can somebody please, like, take care of this guy somehow, some way? I don't even know. Well, we're going to leave the prisoners alone. Apparently, Bennett isn't even taking care of the muffalo that's having a heart attack. Can you please, like, just take care of it? This isn't good. Okay, we're going to get everybody but Bennett to go and attack because clearly we need to do something about this right now before we all die to this guy right here. So we're going to have to actually grab our peoples, everybody but Bennett. And go, oh jeez, actually he's not drafted so we can just go along the way here. Sure, everybody come over here because we have to attack Tumis before he actually shoots another one. It looks like he's going to get it off, unfortunately, so we might lose some Muffalo and Bennett. <laughs> Which isn't good, it's really not good, it's not ideal at all, but it's kind of what's going to happen here. Alright, how close can we get before we actually start getting shot by that turret there? Can we shoot Tumis? Just disrupt him a little bit. Okay, so they're attacking us, did we actually get him... Okay, so we're still disrupting him, but he's not actually taking any... Okay, good. Whew. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot Glass first, because Glass is the one who's actually coming right at us. Shoot her dead. There. Ooh, Moo took a hit. That's not good. I mean, that's our doctor. Go ahead and shoot Tumis now, so he won't actually get that off, because this isn't good. This isn't good if he actually gets that off. Come on! What is with these people? There are terrible shots, apparently, from far... Whew. Okay, that was close. We could have died there, like, big time. So let's go ahead and maybe... Wait, is there anybody else... Can we go ahead and claim this? Can we actually go ahead and safely claim this? I think we can. Are we safe to go in there? I don't know. I'm not so sure. So is anybody going to save Sukiyaki or is Sukiyaki just going to stand there and have a heart attack? Really? Nobody? What? Hey, Moo just lost a hand. Oh, that's not good. 
uh, how do we even take care of this heart attack? Let's see. Do, 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 that's the wrong person. Or that's the wrong thing, actually. We don't want to do that. Let's give the best medicine if we can. And can you now take care of her? Not you. Oh, boy. Oh, I know what we need, you guys. I know exactly what it is that we need. We are going to need an animal sleeping spot just so we can do this. So, let's do that. Now, can we actually, like, rescue or something? Bennett, maybe you can do it. Nobody can do it. Well, hopefully Sukiyaki is going to go there by herself. Otherwise, she might just die, which is obviously not going to be good. Oh, boy. Go, Muffalo. Go. My gosh. She's actually not going. Oh, she's going. She's going to go rest. Whew. Hopefully she makes it there because clearly she's having like a big time heart attack and this isn't good for us at all. Also, I like how we have turrets now. So let's go ahead and maybe... Ooh, area revealed. Good. It, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot about these actually. That's going to be some good money for sure, as will these. So let's go ahead and... No, no, no. Now we're going to uninstall this. Uninstall this. This one here as well. And I guess we can even take the batteries with us, but I'm going to leave them up for now. So uh, let's see. Who's going to doctor here? Please and thank you. Right now. Go for it. Whew. Boy, that was close. That was so close. We could have lost. Oh, failed. Failed. No, no, no. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, Moo. You are our best doctor. You can do it. I know you lost a hand. Okay. So poor Moo lost a hand. It's, you know, it's not ideal. But uh, we could deal with it. Let's go ahead and just, let's see. Unforbid everything. And we're going to make a nice little stockpile zone inside of here to make sure everything's okay. So how old is Sukiyaki anyway? 12 years old. I'm not surprised that happened, actually, now that I'm looking at that. That is really not surprising. Well, on the bright side, we got we got this, you guys. We got this. Let's go ahead and strip these guys there so we can take whatever the heck they have, if it's good. Allie, what happened with you? Huh? When did that... Okay, that was weird. That was actually super weird. When did that happen? Exactly when did that happen? My gosh. Okay, so we're going to have to make this medical for prisoners, and let's have Moo go and rescue. Jeez. Or capture, I guess. At some point, she just fell apart, and everything just went really, really wrong with her. That's really weird. Ayano, are you going to actually stay with us here? Because I really don't want anything else weird happening here. Alright, so Allie actually went down. She has no moving right now because her spine it was cracked in that. So we're going to have to wait a little while longer, unfortunately. Which means, I guess we can probably use one of these as some kind of room. Let's go ahead and just chop down some trees then. So we can actually make doors and whatnot. So we can obviously make that the prisoner room because, you know, it's, it's small and... It, it works as a prisoner room, basically. Let's go ahead and put a sleeping spot up in there. And I guess, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six for ourselves. We're going to go ahead and build a structure. Let's see, wall there. This is going to be a door here. Door here. There we go. And that should do it so we can actually make these areas proper. So let's see, this is going to be for prisoners there. So we can probably put Ayano in there before she just saunters off by herself. Are we actually going to put her there? There we go. Okay, good. And this one is all for ourselves here, so it seems like, you know, despite the fact that things were looking pretty bad, we're kind of okay. We might even be able to leave with Allie, like, on one of the muffalos, because clearly we don't really have enough food to make it through all of this time. And Campos and Penelope are fighting for absolutely no reason. You idiots! Now is not the time for that. Alright, it's about time that we leave before we actually eat up all the food and have nothing else to eat. Oh, we're, we had some berries over here? Okay, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and collect everything. I did kill some turkeys just in case, but honestly, let's be real here. We are not eating turkey at all. So, let's go ahead and reform the caravan. We have all these guys. Let's go ahead and take some... Oh, boy, we only have six meals left. Wait, how is that 2.2 days of whatever? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it's all the berries and the milk. Mm, that's not that bad, then. That is really not that bad. All right, so let's go ahead and try to take as much as we can. It looks like we're a little bit overweight already with all the steel, so I might just have to leave some of the steel. Can we take these guys, or are these way too heavy? Those are way too heavy, so as much as I would love to take them, it might not happen. Batteries are a little bit lighter. I suppose we can take all three of them. I mean, it has power, so I guess that's going to be good. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Don't mind if I do. And some synth thread plant. Someone took off their helmet and some pants, really? Turkey leather t-shirt. Like, you know what? That t-shirt's still pretty good. Why are we actually dropping that? That's weird. Let's take some beers. We might be able to eat them. Um, apparently we can eat corpses, so I'm going to take the turkey corpses. And that looks like we are basically all full up. We can't take any of these guys. I guess we're just going to fill ourselves up with some steel until... I guess, yeah, we could sell whatever else that we don't want. Sure. So let's see. It's going to take us how long to get over here. 
three and a half days? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna not take the steel. Maybe it's because we're overweight? Let's see. How about now? Still three and a half days. So it doesn't matter how much we're carrying. It's just the fact that maybe we have somebody who's slow or something like that. So we're gonna have to stop at some point to maybe refresh ourselves because... Oh boy, do we not have enough food. All right, let's go ahead and just accept that and head off over here to our friends so we can... I mean, we could go to the pirates and just take their stuff, but no. We're going to visit Ververing and hopefully trade with them. It's going to take us three and a half days. I mean, we could go in there starving and just buy whatever food. We do have plenty of things on us with, with, with which we could trade, so that's not going to be that much of a problem. Let's take a look at what's going on over in these guys. It seems like they're a little bit bored because Morgan is mining, of all things. I guess she <laughs> got so tired of harvesting. She was like, you know, I'm not good at this. I, I guess I might as well start something different. Also, why are we not making beds? Uh, we must not have any marble. Let's limestone. Ah, uh, we do have marble. It's just that we're using it all there. And Teeny, shouldn't you be cooking? 60 meals, 34. Exactly. Why are you not making fine meals? A teeny. Let's see. A teeny. Wandering. Heh. <laughs> are these not? Ah! We don't have enough berries. That's what it is. So somebody really ought to go harvesting, but it seems like we have our harvester somewhere over here. So we're kind of stuck with uh, simple meals for now. I mean, they seem to be happy with that. The only unhappy person right now is really Bennett, so we have to maybe... Try to take care of him as soon as we can. Also, I realize we probably should have traded away the person we had in here. But it seems like we just kind of sort of forgot about them. Which is okay. As soon as we get Luciferium, though, we're going to take them out and make sure that we start stuffing them filled with Luciferium. Wow! Sukiyaki got pregnant, which is good! Because, as you saw, she already had a heart attack. So we're going to need another Muffalo. I know we have a little one somewhere around here. Let's see. Muffalo Calf 1. You're just roaming around here. Are you being fed? You must be being fed because somebody has to be training you. Let's see, Handler, we do not have- are you actually eating? Oh, I mean, you are allowed outside, so maybe you are he eating. Yeah, you're fine. You're definitely fine. Okay, so we're slowly building up these floors. It seems like we're ignoring building the beds because we don't exactly need them right now. I guess that's fair enough. Do we have enough power right now? We don't exactly have enough power, but we're working towards that with our research. However, nobody's really researching right now. We kind of sort of need move back. Oh, another one? Sandstone large sculpture. How does that- you guys, isn't that literally where we just were? <laughs> isn't that where we just were? We could go back there, but we have two prisoners right now, which I think would make it uh, not doable at this point. <laughs> we'll go back though. We'll definitely go back there because that's a definitely doable spot compared to like uh, this one, which was like four days out. That's not doable at all. We can do this one. We can do this one. I guess that's going to be... A little bit fun, even though we don't really want these prizes, but whatever. You know what? We're going to do it just because our friends asked for it. And it seems like we kind of sort of have enough food, so that means that somebody must have healed up and we're able to actually walk a little bit faster. So let's see, moving. Weakened on Bennett because his right leg is, I believe, has a cut scar. Everybody else seems to be okay except for Sukiyaki because she's pregnant, but I mean, that's... Actually, it makes no sense when I think about it. <laughs> she got pregnant while they were moving? That's... Oh boy, maybe we should try to only send out either male muffalo or female muffalo and not a mix because clearly somebody was getting a little bit busy when we should have been just moving around. Mm -mm. Or they should have been sleeping, either way. Alright, so let's see if we can find some more meat out here because we are going to need that pretty soon, especially since we're just focusing on simple meals. Let's go for some more turkeys, some more ostrich. I see a lot of fox. Foxes? But uh, I don't really want to go after them because they're actually quite dangerous. There's a dead bunny there. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, I would love to get that. Oh, did we? Let's get that one, even though it's right next to the spicy meat and I don't want to actually blow those up because that would be super dangerous. We're going to try though. And let's see, there's some tortoises here. I don't know how I feel about that because they're actually super dangerous. I know you're probably just like, <laughs> tortoises, what can they do? Trust me, they are dangerous. You do not underestimate them at all. So, uh, yeah, we're going to just ignore the tortoises for now. It looks like we have still two days to go, which is rather unfortunate because I would love to get to our little friends here so we can maybe trade for some good food and have some nice times. And I really, really would like for somebody to actually start harvesting these, but it seems like that's just... It's not going to happen, is it? It's just not going to happen. Morgan's just like, mm, nope, I have other busy things to do. Like hauling, apparently. Wait, hauling what? Hauling pri There's nothing priority to haul. She Wait, she went to mine. 
she actually skipped this one to go to this one. Morgan? I don't know what's going on with her, but clearly she has just... She doesn't like growing at all, does she? I don't think she does at all. Oh well. I guess we can, you know, try to survive on what meals we have for now, and these guys should be back in no time to be able to cook and harvest and get all the good stuff that we need to make fine meals. We're just about to make it to our friends at Ververing, and we are out of food. Hopefully they have a lot of good meals for us, maybe not nutrient paste or anything like that, because we are going to need it. And also, it's probably a really bad time to be out right now, because it is snowing. I'll show you guys in the other, in this, this colony here. Just how bad it is. Our um, our poor crops. Our poor crops are basically not surviving. We're trying to harvest them as fast as we can just to make sure that we're okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do some trading here. Of course, of course, that's what they have. I am not at all surprised. That's what? We can trade prison. Wow, we can do that. I guess we'll also take the insect jelly because that's gonna. Wow, this is like hardly any food. They're not doing us any justice here. We can't even- wait, we can't eat this? <gasps> no way. Okay, well, we're gonna have to start selling some stuff. Let's see, let's sell that. We can sell the muffalo wool. We can always get more, no doubt about that. Let's see, we have some steel. We want to keep that. The neuro trainers. Ooh, do we have? Mm. We have a lung. I do want to take a lung just because somebody needs it. I'm gonna sell, let's see, we can probably... Artistic neuro trainer? Although those prices, not really the best whatever let's see what else can we sell here that we really just really don't want something that's bad like these pants here maybe that right there devil's train yes we came to sell that for sure so let's get rid of that psychic foil helmet i'm not sure why we have that i'm not sure where we got it from but i'm gonna sell it just because it's gonna be some good money right now and we clearly need money big time okay so what else can we sell here that we have that we just don't want these weapons are all pretty good i guess that one's not that great neither is that one that one says poor we can sell that we can sell those right there and the bolt action rifle do we have any other ones no Oosh. we might have to not buy something just so we can afford some foods because clearly right now we don't have that can we actually buy this food we can't eat it we are stuck you guys we are stuck what we can do is we can probably just sell the prisoners, but I really don't want to do that. So I'm just going to keep the beers. Maybe we can somehow eat those and just deal with it. And we're going to have to stop somewhere along the way. I am surprised that our friends have nothing for us. This is like this is sad. We can't even eat raw meat. Like who does? Why can't we do this? I mean, we have turkey corpses. I guess we can eat those if we really, really wanted to. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to do that. Oh boy, this is this is rough, you guys. I really would like to grab that, but we just can't. All right, so we're gonna buy some nutrient paste meals. Gross insect jelly. Some uh, let's see, what else are we buying here? I know we're buying something else, and a lung, right? Because we need. I think it's Bennett or Robin who eats a lung. I'm not so sure. It's one of those guys, and we're basically selling off all of our riches for just those few things. This is not a good trip at all, and these guys clearly. Are not doing us well. We have six days. Six days. Okay, we're gonna have to settle somewhere along the way here. Or maybe like head out a little bit of ways away and then come back. Maybe let's go over here. Let's see. Days of food. Yeah, okay. It's gonna take us like a little bit of a day. Then we're gonna come back over here and see if they have more food for us. Because clearly that's ridiculous. Anyway, snow. Yes, we have a snow issue right over here. I'm not so sure what happened when it suddenly got so cold. Party is finished. Okay, I mean, that's good that Lumi and Robin have been focusing on mostly harvesting because that's exactly what we need. And I suppose we can maybe turn around right now. Yeah, let's try that. Come on. Let's go here and visit. We're not going to attack them. I mean, we can attack them, but that's really not going to be good for us. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we can do about trading. Do they have any more meals? Just no. Just no. Well, I guess we're going to have to settle somewhere over here. Let's see. We're going to go with Caravan 1. We're going to settle right next door, I suppose. And that means I, I really hope it's just it's nice temperature there. Not super cold like it is over here. We may still find some berries. You never know. So hopefully this is going to go well for us. Clearly, what we've done so far is not good. We can, we can maybe like go and grab somebody with a ton of food and meet them somewhere, but... That tends to not work out so well for us, so I'm not going to try that at all. Let's see, we're going to have to harvest this as well here because we have plenty of medicine that we need to grab before it all goes away. Same thing with maybe the cotton. Just try to grab whatever we can before the winter just kills it all for us. And these guys, I'm pretty sure we could settle here. Oh, what? 
Ah, this is technically still on the square of these guys. No wonder we actually weren't able to get any new stuff from them. Well, I can't believe our friends screwed us over. I mean, six days. I'm pretty sure it didn't take us six days to get down here, did it? I would have said no to that. I wouldn't know why it always takes a like, really long time to get up there. And oh, there we go. All of our crops are basically dying. So, Bright said we, harvest most, we harvested most of the berries. So, we have 634 berries. Just as long as, you know, we actually haul them in because sometimes we forget to do that and then suddenly oh no we are out of berries and we have run out of food all right so we should be okay we're waiting there let's settle here we can what fine let's go over here then oh jeez, they're making it like super impossible for us let's see so there is a group of man hunting animals wandering nearby we have smoke pop belt cloth button down shirt double strength Ooh, some of this stuff sounds good let's see where is it Mm, no. I mean, it's close to us, but clearly this group is kind of stuck where they are. So that might be a big no. <laughs> that might be a really big no. We'll see, though. We'll see. Just trying to get these guys settled in so we can maybe make like a little shack or something like that so we can try to survive because clearly things are just not working out for us. Can we actually settle here? We're not even there yet. Okay. Whew. Oh, you guys, we might be saved. We might just be saved. So, hey, look at that. We have another settlement here. And wow, these turkey corpses are basically have gone bad. Ooh. Oh, nice. You can see the road just going through here. And there's a building there that's already set up for us. We might just try to go in there just so we can maybe make that one the prison, even though it's kind of far away from everything else. Unless that one might just be the, um, our danger zone that we don't want to touch. No, no, that's right here. Okay, so that one might be safe enough to use. However, I think I want to keep our prisoners somewhere close to here. So we're going to have to get some wood. We're going to have to get some hunting down and making some simple meals just so we can get going. It seems like it's going to take a long time, though, because we don't exactly have too many cooks. So hopefully somebody, <coughs> Penelope, can maybe get some new colonists so we can get some more cooking going on. Because clearly we just don't have enough food. But that will all happen in the next episode because that is it for this episode of RimWorld. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support and just subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.